my name is Professor David Spratt. I'm the uh, Director of the Applied Medical Science Programme here at UCL. So the programme is a, a three-year BSc or a four-year MSci in Applied Medical Sciences. It's a biomedical style degree, but with a difference. Um, we spend an awful lot of time thinking about the human body, thinking about disease uh, and trying to teach the medicine. So the whole of year one is trying to teach students about how the body works, how it goes wrong and how we fix it. And then in years two and three, much more biomedical science modules are taken and the science is learned. But that's put on a fantastic uh, foundation of, of basic medicine. So the Applied Medical Science course is, is unique in two ways. One, because we teach a lot of medicine, uh, which allows our students to have that knowledge of how the body works. But the other thing is that we, we um, use a lot of flipped teaching in the first year. The flipped teaching means you have to watch interactive videos at home or the library or on your iPad, uh, interact with them uh, and then come to tu tutorials, small group tutorials, to, to do the, the deeper learning. We have a green screen studio, we've made about 800 of these videos, uh, completely interactive with um, lecturers on them, lots of tasks, lots of quizzes, so, so that makes things very different so that your, your learning it is not just didactic uh, with, with, with a lecturer. That's the main unique feature of it. We have a house structure because we want the students to, to work in groups. Working in groups is really important. Uh, often degrees only make you study alone, examine you alone, and then you go out into the outside world and have to work in a team. So we're very keen that from the start of this degree, we make, you, uh, make the students work in teams, and that's what our houses do. They work in teams to make things, to invent things, to have a dragon's den together. So we exchange lots of ideas, we give them a topic and they either um, invent something um, theoretically that might not be possible but, but using uh, various paradigms or they actually build something. We have a, a lab where they build we um, build inventions that have to work. So we, we had them build an osmometer, we've had them build a peak flow meter, uh, and they have to showcase those in front of everyone uh, in a lecture theatre and we'll make them work. We make them work in a team to uh, bid for $100 million to, to cure or, or make, make inroads into research into communicable diseases, things like HIV, TB, malaria, and that's, that's a big competition. So the first year of the Applied Medical Science programme is based at the Royal Free. Um, we have lots of dedicated small teaching rooms, tutorial rooms, we have lecture theatres. We have our own laboratory we've built here. We have the, a fantastic resource which is the Pathology Museum where lots of the teaching, um, certainly for the medical teaching on um, cardiovascular, respiratory, liver, kidneys is done in here. We use the Cruciform building which is on the main campus have our big uh, practicals uh, and that allows the students to have access to, to Bloomsbury but also to come back up here into our small teaching environment. For the Applied Medical Science programme we're looking for students who um, want to know about medicine, aren't necessarily wanting to do medicine but want to know about it, want to work in that, that, that environment but also students that are creative, students that are thinking out the box, students that can think differently and we have a number of um, parts of the course where we allow that to happen. So we run specific uh, days on creative thinking about how to do these things um, and we think that along with obviously the teachers of medicine, the teachers of bioscience makes a different sort of uh, biomedical scientist. That's our aim.